Pizza is one of our favorite meals and is enjoyed almost everywhere in the world. There are countless styles and favorites, but one of the most popular of these is Neapolitan pizza. This traditional style is known for its thin crust, simple ingredients, and short cook time. Creating these tasty treats actually incorporates some cool science. The first step behind making any good pizza is creating the proper dough. The real secret of our uh, back of the house is the machine that produces the dough. Uh, the dough is got prepared one and a half day in advance. Uh, you can see all the bubbles of fermentation they are creating. When it's going to be finished, the fermentation will be super bubbly. The real challenge is change of humidity, change of temperature, because dough is a live material, it rises, right? It's influenced by all these external factors that all together create a pizza. Once the dough has been made and fully fermented, it is prepared for pizza assembly. Characteristic on Neapolitan pizza, what you see is gently spreading the pizza air. So inside the dough there is air, and with our movement we gently bring the air up until the crust to form what in Neapolitan pizza is called cornicione. That's this puffy and airy crust, right? Then this is the classic Neapolitan technique of slap that we use to extend the pizza. The next step is to apply tomato sauce to the dough, and the best sauce comes from Italian tomatoes. When I was in Italy, there was a lot of research because tomato is prominent, and so of course you wanted the best. In Italy, we are lucky. We have a soil that comes from volcanic, right? All the area of Naples is volcanic, the Mont Vesuvius is there, and, uh, and that will give to special flavor to the tomatoes. What we do, because we cook in just in a minute, uh, over a minute, a minute and a half, we leave these spaces from which the heat will penetrate from the, blood, from the bottom of the dough. Right. Uh, mozzarella in Italian pizza is spread uh, in a way without completely covering. The reason we do this is because when you taste the, the pizza, you want to taste all of the ingredients together, but also separate. Other pizza toppings can differ, but they are usually simpler ingredients, like tomatoes, basil, olive oil, and garlic. Neapolitan pizza is cooked at higher temperatures than New York or Chicago-style pizza and is usually in the oven for no longer than 90 seconds. The pizza is monitored and rotated to ensure even cooking. Normally, at the end of the rotation, the pizza will come out already cooked because it will rotate and it will take flame on each side. This precise blend of Italian ingredients and cooking practices helps to create a tasty dish. So again, making pizza is not just opening, stretching, putting it inside, but there is a lot of science, there's a lot of study and a lot of research behind to create a perfect pizza.